all, we're going to look at a quick example about how to write a standard form equation when we are giving two points that define the line. So, we're given the points negative 4, 7 and 2, 11. So, what we have to do is actually start by writing the equation in one of our other two forms, either slope intercept or point slope. We can't go directly to standard form. So, the first thing we would need for either of those forms is the slope. The slope is given letter M, by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so for our example, we have y values of 11 and 7, so we subtract those per the formula. And for x values, we have 2. It's important that since we took the 11 first, we're taking the 2 first as well. And we are going to subtract negative 4, but instead of writing minus negative 4, I'm going to go ahead and put plus 4. Terrific, okay, so 11 minus 7 is 4, and 2 plus 4 is 6. We can simplify that to 2 thirds, so our slope is 2 thirds. Let's go ahead and use the point slope formula to start uh, writing our equation. So the point slope formula is y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. All right, so we have the slope, that's 2 thirds, we can plug that in, and then we get to pick either point that we want. It's up to you uh, which point you like better, maybe you want to try to avoid negatives, so you're going to pick 2 and 11, so let's try that, y minus 11 equals 2 thirds, and then we have times the quantity, um, x minus 2. All right, so we have now an equation written in point slope form, but we still want to try to get it to standard form. So one thing about standard form is that standard form does not have fractions. We have a fraction here, and I'm noticing if I think I had distributing to here, we could do this. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's going to give us uh, you know, more fraction work. So let's get rid of our fractions right now. So I'm going to multiply <clears throat> the left hand side, the right hand side by 3, and the left hand side by 3. Notice I put those kind of brackets and parentheses to remind ourselves of how we're going to do this. So. This 3 here is going to distribute to both terms here, giving us 3y minus 33. Now, over on the other side, notice we have 2 thirds times this quantity times 3 halves. We don't need to distribute the 3 to both the quantity x minus 2 and by the fraction, because they're all products, three products in a row, as opposed to here, the y minus 11 was a subtraction between the two of them. So this 3 will just cancel with the 3 there in the denominator. So now our expression is 2 times the quantity x minus 2. All right, so nothing to do on the left-hand side. I'm going to carry that along with us. On the right-hand side, let's go ahead and distribute so we get 2x minus 4. All right, we're getting closer. We want to get all the x's to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I'm going to rewrite this, and when I do that, I'm going to put the x first, because that's our standard form, negative 2x plus 3y minus 33 is equal to negative 4. Well, I've got to get my constants to the other side. We're going to add 33 to both sides, and I have negative 2x plus 3y is equal to positive 29. But that's not quite there yet, so I'm going to rewrite it up here since I ran out of room at the bottom. Negative 2x plus 3y equals 29. We also want the first term, the coefficient of x, to be positive. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of my equation by negative 1. So this side and this side by negative 1. All right, so that's going to give us 2x minus 3y equals negative 29. And that is our standard form equation. What do we note about a standard form equation? It's always ax plus by equals c. So we've got the x and y terms on the left, the constants on the right. We've got uh, a, b, and c are all integers. We've got no fractions anywhere, um, no decimals anywhere. And we've got a, the leading coefficient of x, to be positive. So that is how you take two points and write an equation in standard form uh, for that line. Thank you.